Hello everyone! Welcome back to Spiritual Essence. In today's topic, we're actually going to be talking about something called energy manipulation. Now, first of all, what is it? Last time, you learned about moving and feeling energy, and then the video after that, you learned how to maintain and balance it using Velo. Well, actually, in this video, we're going to teach you how to take the energy that's within your body and turn it into things. If you're a little confused on that, I'm going to give you quite a few examples in this video to get you started on this because there is a big importance with this lesson. And a lot of the things you do after it are going to require being able to do this. Being able to manipulate energy into certain things um, can definitely help you um, on the offensive and defensive when you're at spiritual warfare, whether it's with someone who practices magic or a spirit is attacking you, what have you, but it's something that is definitely good to know and it's something that um, you're going to need in order to survive the lessons that I give after it. Um, so that being said, we're going to get right into the exercises. So if you're confused now, don't worry. I will try and explain everything while doing the examples. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we are going to start off with a very simple form of energy manipulation and um, it can be done sitting down, standing up, uh, but um, as long as you're in an upright position. So you, you can't do this laying down. Okay, so I'm going to get a just nice comfortable stance. All right, and I'm going to close my eyes. Now, if you remember how to summon the energy from the center of you, the center of your heart, do that. Remember, make it bright. Make it pulsate if you want. All right. Can you feel it? If you can, that's a good thing. Now, you are going to take your hands, cup them like this. You can even do it like this, but I'm going to do it like this. Now imagine the energy splitting apart. You can, you, you can do this slowly. <clears throat> There's no rush in this. Make sure it's going down both your arms, almost like water flowing from your arm and it's going to travel down both arms and eventually you're going to feel it start to swirl where your hands are. It's going to come out from the tips of your hands so it's going to come out from this and this so it's going to come like swirling. It's going to come swirling in. Now imagine it forming a sphere or a ball. Yeah that's it. Keep it going. Keep it swirling around. Keep filling it with as much energy as you can. Focus in on it. See it grow. Now, you can be a little more relaxed with your hands. Start to separate your fingers as it grows because you're going to want to contain it. You don't want it to spill out. All right. If it grows too big, compress it with your energy. Hold it, but keep it, keep filling it with energy. And the more energy you fill it with, the denser it gets, the heavier it feels. It's starting to feel pretty heavy, isn't it? Let it go a little bit to grow. 
and then compress it. All right, do you feel it? Yeah, it's compressing? Good. Now, hold it in your hand. Feel it, keep holding it. Now, send it out to something. Imagine it going right through everything. There, you just created a side ball or an energy ball. It's a great form of energy manipulation. Believe it or not, the more you practice with this, the more this can become very powerful kinetic energy, which could possibly knock over things or possibly even subdue an attacker or a burglar. So see what I mean when some of these things can be important. Now that is one of the most simplest pieces. You don't have to, you know, make it, you know, as dense as you can and, you know, don't expect it to be able to knock over things right away. You just got to keep practicing with it. Just keep focusing in on the ball and make sure that it keeps getting layered with your energy. That's what it needs. You got to keep layering it. But if you manage to do it, good job. And um, that is one of the most simplest things you could do to just keep practicing with this uh, energy ball. But that's not the only exercise I'm going to show you. Now, as the show progresses, I will show you more ways to use psi balls or energy balls. Um, I'll show more uses for them and um, more exercises. But until then, um, that is just a basic one, so just focus on that one for right now. Now, the next one is a pretty, pretty cool one. <laughs> All right, so. Make the energy go into the center of your heart again. Form it. It's a very powerful, bright ball. Your favorite color. It's shining and it's full of light. It's full of energy. It's hyper. Now. It's going to go to both of your hands. It's going to separate and go down your arms and to your hands. And all of a sudden, it's going to go to your pointer fingers. It's You're going to see in your mind both of your pointer fingers on both hands glowing, almost like from E.T. <laughs> E.T., phone home. Yeah, <laughs> just had to say that. But, um, okay. Now, you're going to feel uh, your fingers. You're going to feel them maybe pulsate, vibrate. You'll, you'll feel them. It almost feels like they might be growing a little bit. Don't worry. That's just the energy. Now, put them together. Now imagine a circuit being completed. They're connecting. Now the energies are forming together. Now, you're going to slowly move your fingers apart. And as you do there's going to be an energy ball that's forming. Right now, it's really, really small. Can you see it? If you can see it, that's good. If you can feel it, that's even better. Now, as you continue to move your fingers slowly apart, they are going to take the form of a butterfly. Imagine it the most beautiful butterfly you've ever seen. Imagine it glowing. With your mind's eye, make it move its wings back and forth. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Now, cup your hand. Make it go into your hand. Imagine it flying right into your hand. Do you feel its legs? Do you feel its legs on your hands? Maybe you can feel the flap of its wings. Can you hear it? It's crawling on your hand. Don't worry, it won't hurt you. It's a very relaxed butterfly, and it's very comfortable with you. Now, slowly make it fly. Can you still see it even with your eyes open? 
Can you imagine it flying around the room? Now <laughs> it's landed on the top of your head. Isn't that sweet? It doesn't want to leave you. You can feel the wings and you can feel its legs on top of your head now. Do you feel it? Believe it or not, this is actually real. You may not be able to see it with your physical eyes, but your mind's eye you can. It's in the spiritual world. It's on a dimension far from us, but it's real. Now, make it go back into your hand using your imagination. Imagine it flying into your hand. Slowly put your hands together. And as you do, you don't squash the butterfly, but it really merely returns to its energetic state. It turns back into energy. The energy is now within your hands, both of them. You can feel it. It's vibrating because you made it. You gave it movement. You gave it life. You put way more into it this time. Now, imagine it going back up your arms to your shoulders and then it's meeting back to form that energy ball in the center of your heart again. But this time, you'll see wings still flop out and they're just flapping ever so slightly. It's a nice feeling. If you felt that, if you saw that, if you heard that, congratulations. Believe it or not, this is a basic technique. You were able to take energy and you were able to give it life of its own. Isn't that amazing? I remember when I first did it, I couldn't believe it. It was like something that I thought only happened in fairy tales or in movies. I never thought this could be real, but it is. It's plenty real. And um, there's a lot of uses you can get out of it. Tons of uses that can affect your physical health in the best way possible. Also in the not so best way possible but we're going for the other one um so if you were able to do that great job if you need a little bit more time and work don't worry you know um a lot of the techniques i give they're not for everyone not each technique is fitted to every person that's why i give more than one you know so that many people who have different learning styles and um prefer techniques of their own if one doesn't work for them at least there's another one that they can try so don't worry all right so that was the butterfly technique and um it was i hope it was really exciting now we're gonna do a couple more just to make sure that you get this down now this is a technique i call wings that's right wings Okay, so get ready, get in your comfortable stance. Close your eyes. That ball is going to form in the center of your chest again. Very powerful. It might be still fluttering from the butterfly technique you just tried. If you choose to do more than one at a time, but don't worry. But this time, the energy is not going to flow down to our arms. Instead, it's going to take its way to our backside. It's going to go from the center of our chest, and it's going to move backward. Do you see it? Yeah? It's moving backward. Can you feel it now on your back? Maybe even use your mind's eye to center it any way you want. Now, slowly, from the ball of energy, there's going to be two small beams of light shooting out. They're small at first, but they're slowly going to grow. Now, as they grow, they're going to start to go their separate ways. Slowly but surely, they are, oh, they're turning into wings now. 
Make them any wings you want. Make them devil wings, make them angel wings, butterfly wings, uh, maybe dragon wings. There is so much you can do with them. I think I'm going to make them angel wings. <laughs> it's like automatically my angel, uh, my, um, my angel wings. They gave me a little bit of energy to make an energy halo. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And I can feel the halo right above me. All right. Give yourself time to fully form your wings. Every detail. Are they feathered? Are they scaly? Are they dry? Do they look ripped at all? What color are they? Mine are golden yellow. And they are nice and feathered, just like you would imagine an angel's wings to be. Slowly feel them become real. Bring them into reality with your mind's eye. You know how to do this. In one lifetime or another, you've done this. Now, do you feel them physically on your back? If you do, good. If not, it's okay. Give it time. Remember, no lesson can be rushed. All right. Now, flap your wings. Just by telling them to do so in your mind. You can even say it out loud. All right, wings, flap. Can you feel them? They might be flapping willy-nilly at first, but soon they'll, you'll get more control over, over them. If you haven't done a technique like this before, they might be flapping every which way, but don't worry. If you, uh, you continue practicing, they'll eventually, you know, you'll get control of them. Yeah, you can feel them, can't you? Yep. Doesn't this feel cool? All right, now that you have made your wings move and you have formed them in your mind's eye, you've made them become real. Imagine them shrinking now. Shrinking slowly, turning back into the beams of light they once were. And now both beams of light have met up and they're slowly going back into the ball of light. Now. This energy ball that you've created is going to go back to where it belongs, where its home is, in the center of your heart. You might notice in your mind's eye that it's glowing a little bit more now. It's because you utilized it. You used it. You gave it more energy. So now it's active. Or reactive, shall we say. All right. Wasn't that fun? <clears throat> if you managed to do it, that's perfect. That's perfect. If you manage to do each one of these, that, that is great. You get an A+. Plus. If you weren't able to do all of them, you know what? That's fine. If you can at least do one, that's a success. So don't worry about it if you can't do all of them. If you can't do um, any of them, keep practicing. Don't just quit. Remember, if you can't get it right away, take a break and then go back to it. If you get, Don't get frustrated. If you need to take a break, do so. But, you know, we're not going to get anywhere being stressed or frustrated. So just take your time, relax. If you need to go over my um, lesson again, over the technique, you do so. That's the beauty of YouTube. You know, you can just click back and replay a certain part or maybe the whole thing if you need to. All right. Um, okay, so we're going to try two more techniques and um, this will just give you a grand idea of how this works. Okay, so now we're going to be trying a technique called claws. Yeah, we're going to give ourselves claws. 
on our actual hands. All right. So for this technique, it's going to be similar, a little different. Okay. So close your eyes. Form that ball in the center of your chest again. All right. Get it going. Make sure it's nice. Make sure it has enough energy to actually become something. Remember your favorite color. Remember. That's important because it gives you more interest into it, which gives it more energy. Okay. Now, take the hand you write with. I write with my right, so I'm going to take it and put it out up, uh, right uh, ahead of me. Now that ball of energy is going to slowly make its way from my shoulder to my arm and to my hand. Okay, come on now. It's taking a little longer than usual. Ah, there it is. I feel it now. Okay. But we're not going to send it out of the hand. It's actually going to start wrapping around the hand. The energy is almost going to cocoon itself to your hand. It's going to form the outline of your hand. Every part of your hand is going to be covered with this energy. Now slowly, you're going to feel the claws growing. You're going to feel them. Feel them shoot out. What do they look like? Mine are pure silver. And as for the rest of my hand, I'm going to make it look all black with spikes protruding from it. Now, they're, you don't have to do it my way, you know. Make them dragon's claws. Make them Freddy Krueger hands if you want. <laughs> um, let me see. Werewolf hands. Zombie fingernails. I don't know. You know, use your imagination. That's a great thing about spirituality. Your imagination. Okay. Make them grow. You can feel them. You don't feel pain, but you definitely feel them actually there. You can feel them. Can you feel them? You don't even have to touch your fingers together. You can feel the skin from whatever you've chosen. You can feel the material. You may actually be able to feel the claws with your other hand if you get close enough. It doesn't pierce your skin, but you can even feel how sharp it is. Ooh, that's really sharp. This would definitely cut me apart if these were actual physical. All right, do you feel it? And you might even start to see it in your mind's eye when your uh, eyes are open. Isn't that cool? All right, now we're gonna transform the mech. Feel the claws shrinking. Shrinking down, maybe even melting down. And the claw that once took over your hand is now melting away, revealing your actual physical human hand. There you go. Oh no. The spikes that were on top of my hand, they're just going away. And all of this is retreating back into the ball of energy, which now sits in the palm of your hand. So now it's going to go back to its home, down your arm, to your shoulder, and of course, back into your heart. <sighs> Sometimes when it goes back, you know, you just feel a, a jolt. <clears throat> if you were able to do that, perfect. I'm so proud of you. If not, keep going. But um, a lot of you might be like, wow, I can actually feel these things. Yeah, believe it. Are you interested now? Yeah? When I talk about magic and stuff, I'm not like... Oh, pull a rabbit out of a hat. There it is. No, no, we're doing real things. Okay, now that we've finished the claws technique, 
we're going to do one more technique just to make sure that you got it down because I want to make sure that people have um, a certain multitude of techniques to try. All right. You've got a lot of techniques to try out. Well, here's one more for you. It's what I call wandering eyes, and it's actually going to be a prerequisite to a lesson that I'm going to teach you guys down the line. Um, now, what is this? We're going to take the energy from the center of our chest, but it's going to move upward to our eyes. We're going to change how our eyes look. And um, people are going to be like, what's the point? I can, f I may be able to feel it, but you know, no one else can see it. Keep practicing, and actually, there is a way for you to change your eyes, your co the eyes, your, um, the color, um, the iris, um, maybe even um, the pupil. If you want to have like cat eye pupils, you know, like now this. To do so takes a lot of, you know, training and practicing, but um, I'm just showing you and telling you what the advanced version of this is. So there's a lot you can do with what I've just showed you. Um, so don't just think that, oh yeah, this is just going to be part of my imagination that I can feel now. No, no. Keep going with it and you'll be surprised at the results. Okay, ready? What are we gonna do? What have we what have we been doing to start off each technique? That's right, the ball of energy in the center of our chest. Favorite color? Mine's magenta. Oh, uh, I don't know why I like magenta. I just I like magenta. All right. Now, the ball of energy in the center of our chest is gonna move upward. I imagine mine going on like a mini elevator almost and like going toward my eyes. Uh, you don't have to do that, but it's just a little fun thing to do. All right. Now, the energy, once it gets level to your eyes, it's going to slowly sh split up and the two halves are going to go to your eyes. They're going to they're gonna travel almost like an electrical circuit up the veins to your eyes and eventually you're going to go into the eyes themselves. Now, give this some time. You might feel like a little bit of electrical jolt, not painful stings, but just slight vibration that might feel something. Just, you know, give it time to settle into your eyes. All right, now, once you're used to the feeling, if you're not used to the feeling, if, um, if you find it at all painful, stop, take a break. Obviously, you're going to need some more training, more practice before you do this, or you don't even have to do this at all. I'm just saying. Okay. Now, imagine what color your eyes are now. And what do they look like? Are they two different colors? Are they one specific color? Do they have any kind of design on them that you got naturally? My eyes are actually blue with actually yellow or gold in the center. I'm not kidding. Um, I'll try to show you guys um, if I get a chance. If it the camera will even pick it up, I'll show you in the video. But um, all right, so. What do you want your eyes to look like? If you're not exactly happy with the color of your eyes or the way they look, how do you want them? Do you want them cat eyes? Do you want them to go like a star? A pentagram, maybe? Do you want them to look like a cross? Do you want them to look like another specific shape, like a square or a triangle? There's tons you can do. And what, do you want them to change color? What color do you want them? Do you want them to glow? Yeah, do you want them to glow? Now, just act like you're an artist with this energy. Turn your eyes the way you want. I am going to, I like my blue eyes, but I'm gonna focus on the yellow that's in the middle of them. 
I've got heterochromia, which means your eyes are two different colors. So I'm going to focus on that yellow and I'm going to make them glow. I can feel it. You might feel a little, like, see a little blurriness, but don't worry. It's perfectly all right. Don't strain your eyes. Just keep it going. Keep the energy going. But do you feel your eyes changing? Do you feel them? Do you feel the shapes that your, um, that your uh, pupils are changing? You may notice that your eyes are watering too. Um, so um, with beginners, you know, even with people who've done this before, it happens. So um, don't think it's gonna make you go blind. No, it's not going to. It would take a. It would take an overload of energy to do that. You're just merely trying to change your eyes. And actually, I'm going to try. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it's glow. Well, it actually kind of does look like it's glowing, almost, but it it's not glowing the way I imagined it, but, um, yeah, it, uh, doesn't look that bad, actually. I don't know if I get my eyes any closer, if you can see the, uh, the gold or yellow. I call it gold, because it, it, in the light, it kind of does look like, but, um, I don't know if you can see that when I'm editing I'll actually make sure if I did <laughs> all right enough of my scary face okay so once you feel like it has been accomplished you know send the energy right back to where it belongs in the center of your chest now that one a lot of people might not be comfortable with but um, it's actually one of the lessons that I will teach. Um, and it's actually um, a lesson that's actually part of the basic learning that I'm starting off with. So um, if you don't feel comfortable with it and you don't want to try again, you don't have to. Um, I am just trying to teach you one of the many ways you can manipulate energy. All right. So we're back. And... Um, I hope you were successful in at least one or maybe two, if you were lucky, um, in one of these techniques that I taught you. If you weren't, it's okay. You can keep practicing. Take a break and then keep practicing. Practice makes perfect, you guys. So just don't get frustrated. Don't get stressed. That's the first step towards failure, getting all frustrated and angry and just saying, oh, screw this, you know. You just take your time, relax. There is no pressure in this, guys. No pressure at all. Now, a lot of you might be thinking, wow, that was actually pretty cool. I had no idea you could do this. Now, I'm sure there's also people asking, well, what does this teach us? This teaches us that there is more beyond the physical sight. Um, it's been beaten into our brains since we were children that there's no such thing as ghosts. There's no such thing as energy. This stuff doesn't exist. Well, my friends... I can very much tell you that it is, and if you were able to feel any of these techniques and maybe even see them with your mind's eye, you can attest to that fact that indeed it is real. Um, but this is also good for helping our spiritual defenses. Um, something that's good for building up your spiritual defenses is imagination. How can that be? Well, um, if you're a person who sees pictures in their mind when they're learning something. If you're a visual learner, that is a very good way, you know, um, so say you were being psychically attacked by either a spirit or a living person. You could imagine a brick wall separating you from the attack and being blocked by the brick wall and therefore saving you. 
imagination is powerful. Whenever I say, imagine this, imagine that, I'm not saying, oh, just make believe it. I'm just saying visualize it with your mind's eye because imagination is a big part of the process. Uh, creativity is another. I remember uh, back on the old show, there was a woman who was like, you know, I really like your techniques and I really like your content and your information. It's accurate as far as I'm concerned. But um, uh, she's like, I don't think you should use the word uh, imagine or um, imagination because it kind of sounds like all this is make-believe. And I'm like, I understand where you're coming from, but then again... Um, Imagination brings upon creativity, which is good for spiritualism. Uh, it works with a lot of spells, with a lot of um, spiritual training techniques. It all encompasses imagination. So I get where she was coming from, and you know, don't get me wrong. I didn't, I didn't get angry at her or nothing. You know, um, I can take constructive criticism, but um, I had to show her from my side of things where I was coming from. Uh, so whenever I say imagine, this is not make-believe. I'm just saying imagine with your mind's eye. So just get that and we'll all get along splendidly. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you would continue practicing on these. If you want to try all of them, see where you're, um, where you're comfortable at, you know, do so. Try them all out, you know, just... Um, if you find one that you're, you know, that you really like or that you find that's much easier, go with that one. Don't take the hardest route, but if you want to challenge yourself, do so. You know, if you want, if you're a person who likes a challenge, I'm not going to be the one to stop you. You know, I'm here to, you know, help you grow and prosper. You know, I'm here to help you. <laughs> I'm not here to inhibit you. So... That being said, um, I guess that pretty much wraps up this video. All right. May your night and day be blessed.